so in today's video i am doing another wig review for you guys so this one is from sam's beauty it is a bobby boss wig um so yeah let's just go ahead and get into the details so uh, of course this is a bobby boss wig it says it's a premium synthetic wig the style of this wig is m707 buttercup and the color that I have is 3T1B slash 2736. So yeah, and then the other available colors that it comes in. 1, 1B, 2, the one that I have in, 4, B-U-G as in like bug. And then copper slash bug, eggplant, and in blue. So they have like, a, well here's the picture. And then like right here, there's like a picture. It's like a dark color. It's in between like a purple and like a navy blue i can't really tell exactly what it is um because the picture is so small but it says that um the color that's down there is the in slash blue one so okay yeah so it is the blue one um and the one that's in the picture it's copper slash bug so i'm assuming that bug color is sort of like a like in between like a 99j type of color so yeah but it's like a two-tone copper at the top bug at the bottom not really sure what that bugs <laughs> means um but yeah then of course the care instructions and everything was on the back with bobby boss and you know their information it says it is safe uh for heat styling it does not say what the temperature for that would be so that's all that's said here on the card um but yeah this week i really really like this week um i've said it in my i think okay so earlier this year i made a top 10 of my like favorite synthetic wigs that I've had video and my number one was a curly wig or at least I believe yeah I believe it was my number one it was a curly wig it was the big beautiful hair by Outre and this really reminds me of it in the like in how it looks not how it's made because how it's made is actually pretty different than how that one was made but in like the shape of like the wig and sort of the kind of curl that it is even though these are definitely looser curls than the one that's my favorite which is the 3b i believe i believe that was my favorite kinky or something i don't know uh, these curls are definitely a lot looser um or what was it 4b sorry <laughs> so yeah but these curls are definitely a lot looser but like the shape of the wig the like bang at the front with like the you know foxy mama you know yes this that's what this is giving me right now it reminds me of beyonce when she was in austin powers that movie she had the blonde afro it was cute it was popping it was like okay girl i see you mm. that's just kind of like what this reminds me of and it kind of uh makes me like think like what my hair would look like, look like if it grew out although i think my curls will be tighter than this um because my natural hair i did dye it blonde and it's sort of like this sort of blonde or bleachy blonde and it's like this sort of blonde so i'm like you know if i really let my hair grow out and i actually like really paid attention to it <laughs> and i was like heavily into like my natural hair i feel like this is sort of like what my hair could end up looking like because as it is my own hair it has this sort of shape to it where it gives me like it could give me a bang at the front if i really you know put the time in to do that um and it does slightly give me a bang at the front however my shrinkage likes to, you know cause me problems so you know it's fine Fine. this just really reminds me of like what my hair could be and i just think that it's really cute i think it suits me pretty decently i'm i'm not sure if i like this one or the out tray one better yet i don't know like i mean obviously you know i haven't worn this one out too too much where i literally was wearing the out tray one for like literally y'all it's almost been two years <laughs> since i've had that wig i need to rebuy it because i wear it all the time like i love that wig and i'm still getting compliments on it don't know why because i personally feel like it's falling apart but you know okay <laughs> no complaints from me anyway back to this week uh i can definitely see myself still getting some uh compliments and stuff with this because you know it kind of can give you the illusion of being you know someone's natural hair i don't know about being my natural hair because again the curls are kind of loose um but i mean i know that you know a lot of girls you know they have natural hair that looks like this so i mean it's not too unbelievable especially like if i wore it every day i'm sure a lot of people would think that it's my natural hair but just because i know like what my natural hair looks like i'm just like i mean i don't really know but yeah <laughs> that's beside the point though i really like the style of this wig the curls are really really nice um i'm not too hot in it it's not too close up on my neck it doesn't feel heavy it's very lightweight um 
it has like a nice little bounce to it it's not it doesn't you know move too too much but it's not stiff the curls aren't still like when i talk you can or you know when i'm doing all this right here the hair moves it's like an afro you know it's like this is what my real hair does when i move my head all extra <laughs> so i mean you know i think it's cute she popping and she's like you know <laughs> um but yeah so again let's let's well let's go back to the color the color of it is 3t1b slash 2736 um the roots are a 1b of course and then it says it uh, is 2736 it's not 27 slash 36 it is 2736 <laughs> um but obviously you just read it as 2736 um i definitely see some 27 up in here it's definitely you know there's no 613 there's no platinums in this whatsoever it's like you know a honey blonde that is you know kind of what you're getting with this and then the 36 i'm not really exactly sure what like a 36 sort of color is i'm gonna assume that it's like the brownie color that's in here because you can definitely see like the ombre of it it does go from 1b and then it fades into like a brown and then into the 27 which is why i would think that the 27 goes at the end and it would be 36 27 but you know it's fine it's cool <laughs> you know um what do i know again i'm not exactly sure what the 36 is yeah but i really like the color it's the transformation in the colors are very very good because like i said there isn't you know like some that are like um that 36 color and then some that are 27 there is a gradual ombre of colors personally i love a good ombre gradient effect i love it especially when it's done well it just makes it look expensive it makes it like you know you put time and effort into it you spend money on your hair you know when really this wig is probably like 30 dollars so you know <laughs> that's pretty good actually you know let me see how much this wig is i never say the price of wigs in my videos on tim beauty's website oh Oh, she $14.99 <laughs> on Sam's Beauty's website. This week is $14.99, and they got a picture of her, like a girl, like a model, modeling this girl. Screenshot, yes, honey. Okay, so they have like a 360 um, degree style view, and I can see where the colors are like uh, changing a little bit, but it's still like an ombre effect. It, I'm assuming that the 36 color is in the back more. Let me turn around so y'all can see. So this is what the hair looks like from the back because i can see it now i'm looking at this picture um there's like a darker color that's in the back or that like 36 color i'm really really liking this wig i think she's cute like i like her i could see myself wearing this every day too i could even see, uh, see myself wearing this with like little makeup or even no makeup because what i do with that other wig the one from outray i literally could wear that with no makeup and i just i'm cool like i'm gucci um you know there's a lot of other wigs that i can kind of do no makeup with too but i feel the need to at least put on like eyebrows mascara you know something however with like these curly wigs to kind of frame your face well i don't really feel the need to always do my eyebrows because you know this thing's covering up a little bit but if my eyebrows are showing girl they getting done okay getting done i ain't got time <laughs> um but girl I'll just throw that wig on put on some gloss call it day and i thought i can do this one too with you know, i can feel like i can do that with this one too maybe i don't know i haven't seen what it looks like without makeup because you know the eyebrows could always cause a problem yeah that's pretty much if this wig i really really like it i think that she is very cute but yeah make sure y'all check out sam's beauty the links will be in the description everything that you need to know is down in the description and i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i will see you on my next one bye
Thank <laughs> you.